So in 2005, Microsoft brought us Project Gotham Racing 3, which was one of the first racing games on the Xbox 360, and without a doubt, one of the best racing games that have since appeared on the console. So here we are in 2007, and we have Project Gotham Racing 4, Bizarre Creation's newest racing game, and it's one that follows pretty closely to the Project Gotham Racing formula and adds things like weather effects and motorcycles that really amp up the gameplay. There's still lots of things to do online here, a lot of compelling cars and motorcycles to drive. Most importantly, this is a game that you'll be spending a lot of hours with. So in the single player game of PGR4, you have uh, a lot of the same game modes we've seen in the PGR series before. You have time attack and you have the challenge mode where you earn medals for different types of race events. What's new is the sort of new anchor of the single player game and that is the Gotham career mode. And you go through this with the idea of earning race championship points to eventually become the number one driver in the world. All the different kinds of events that we've always played in PGR are thrown here in the calendar system. To win an event, you earn kudos. Anything you can do stylishly will earn you kudos. You can win races that way, but also you can go into the PGR store and buy things. You can buy new car packs and new tracks and new variations on tracks. So there's a lot of things to do in the Gotham career mode. It took us about uh, two calendar years to reach the number one ranking. At the hardcore difficulty level, it'll probably take you much more than that. The biggest addition to PGR4 this year is weather effects. Racing in the snow, racing in the rain, racing in just a slick, wet surface is amazing. They've gone into such an amazing fine level of detail in how water affects your car, not just from a visual standpoint. You see beads of rain collecting on the hood of your car and you're using your windshield wiper when you're in first person view, but how it affects your car is where it really shines in PGR4. As it's raining, you're coming into a corner and there's a pool of water right at the braking zone and you're coming in at 100 miles an hour and you'll start hydroplaning across the water. The Bizarre Creations team has been really tricky with where they put these standing pools of water. It seems like every time you want to hit the brakes, there's a pool of water that you have to deal with beforehand. So it adds an entirely new level of depth and challenge to the racetracks really adds a lot. The snow and ice effects are cool. They're probably not as convincing. Where the game really shines is when the wet weather effects, the rain and uh, the pools of water. It's just fantastic. The best part of VGR4. Motorcycles make their debut in the Project Gotham Racing series this time around. They're an interesting addition to the mix because um, on one hand, the motorcycles from a control standpoint feel a lot like cars in the sense that they're easy to drive. It seems like the developers wanted to make the bikes very approachable. When it comes to the comparison of the bikes and the cars in PGR4, the bikes are faster off the line, but most of the cars are going to be faster than the fastest bike. So they've attempted to even things out and balance the cars and the bikes out, but it still seems like the bikes are quicker off the line, and if you know what you're doing, you can get a lead and keep it. Returning tracks in PGR4 include Tokyo, New York, and Las Vegas, and there are some new ones as well, and they're all uniformly fantastic. You have Macau, St. Petersburg, Shanghai, and Quebec. One of the things the PGR series has always done has been recreate urban environments that are really unparalleled in any other video game series. All of the additions in PGR4 from a track standpoint are visually incredible and add a lot to gameplay. There's a lot of variety, a lot of fun, and uh, you just be spending a lot of hours on these tracks, and it's nice to know that they're all uh, incredible one after the other. The cars in PGR4 all look great. You have uh, multiple viewpoints, and this time around they've added a little bit of customization to how the cars appear. You can create your own custom paint jobs uh, that you can apply to any car in your garage. It's certainly not as deep as something you'd find in Forza 2. There's no vinyl editor or anything like that, but there are tools to make your car appear at least a little bit unique whether you're racing online or offline. So you're driving into a corner at 130 miles per hour, you turn the wheel, you hit the wet pavement, and you slide into a corner and you bash your car into a wall. You're a little bit mad, but you're more excited by the fact that the weather effects are so awesome in PGR4. And it's one of the best things that make uh, this game so special. Certainly PGR4 is a worthy successor to the PGR series and it's a game that any racing fan will be spending a lot of time with.